Well, we use the T-38 for space flight readiness training. It's a supersonic jet trainer that the Air Force initially used. This is the one thing that we do in all of our training that really is not simulated. Reading out of a book or sitting in a simulator is never going to be the same as when your hide's on the line, when your decisions really have consequences. I would say it's the best space flight training we have. So it's a jet we can fly solo, but we typically don't. We typically use it, again, for the space flight readiness training mission. Physiologically, it's, it's a challenge. Space flight can be uncomfortable. Uh, when you get up there, you might feel sick to your stomach. Weightlessness is a big challenge. Uh, the, uh, the view is incredibly distracting. So uh, your body getting used to all that, uh, that makes the T-38 a, a perfect training environment. The initial airframe was built several decades ago, but it's flying like it's brand new or even better. This T-38 is decked out in a way that no other T-38 on the planet is. So a fairly standard layout in terms of aircraft, the, the control stick here, and then the individual throttles for both motors on, on the left side. We've got a glass cockpit here for a primary flight display. We've got an electronic engine display here, and then we've also got our flight management system, which allows us to use uh, GPS technology for navigation and, and for approaches. It's got a zero, zero seat, which means uh, we can eject safely at uh, zero altitude and zero airspeed if we ever had a, had a need to do that. Essentially, there's dynamite in there. It's something that's gonna shoot you out like a rocket out the top if you eject. So getting strapped into the, to the ejection seat is, uh, is not trivial. This is the ejection handle that you'd pull, and what that would do is it would start an entire sequence and it would pull your feet uh, into a good position for ejection. And at that point, uh, you're along for the ride. Yeah, right now, 250 miles up is a space station with six crew members on board going 17,500 miles an hour over our heads in orbit. Every day working on the ISS, is a, there's a great story. Uh, the whole day is full of problem solving. Yes, you're in a research laboratory. We're, it's a punishing schedule. We're doing uh, uh, research, hopping from experiment to experiment all day long. But occasionally you have uh, the chance to actually look out the window with a colleague of yours. Every astronaut needs to be a crew member on the T-38, uh, whether that's a front seat pilot or a, a back seat crew member. Um, we all have the same tasks, but uh, yeah, everybody in the office uh, flies the T-38. I imagine that people who are going to Mars are probably in grade school now at this point, so we're hoping to, to lay the foundation for what they're gonna need to do that, uh, do that well and do it safely. Um, it's just really, for me, really exciting just to be a, a part of that machine uh, and to contribute in any small way to make, making sure that happens.